Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about something called Maven repository or something called Spring dependencies. Okay, so one sec, let me go to my Eclipse IDE. Let me open pom.xml. Okay, if you see here, so the moment when you create your Spring project, you are supposed to pick the dependencies. So once you do that, you will have all your dependencies added in your form.xml file. Okay, so this is a very good thing. Now, the problem is when you want to add some more dependence. For example, suppose while creating your project, your embassy project, you just picked one uh, dependency. So for example, web dependency. Now I want to add some more depend more dependencies like uh, JDBC database dependency, Spring context, Bean, or you can say MQ dependencies or login dependency and all. I want to add. Then how will I add the dependency? I need to know the group ID and artif artifact ID and version as well to add the dependency. So to fix this problem, we have something called Maven repository. Just Google go to google.com and type Maven repository and they will see something called something like this. This browser here. So this is one of the very useful website where you can find all your dependencies. So what I will do is I'm just going to let's say I'm going to type here only spring dependency. I just want to see. Click here. Okay, one second. So let me just remove the search criteria. I'll just keep mavenrepository.com, right? Now you see here different there are different categories. Okay, so let me go and pick one this one. Uh, login framework. If I click here on this link, I can see there are different frameworks available in the market. SLF, logback, Apache log4j, common logins, and few more. Now you want to add the dependency in your project. So you need to have something, something like this to add the dependency, right? How will you find that? So just go and click, for example, let's say I will want to use log for the dependency. So I just click here and I'll choose the version. Maybe like you, if you're using older version, you may go for the older version. For new, just click here. Now, so this is a very important page, one of the important screen. If you see here, the very first is Maven dependency. Next is Gradle dependency. If you are using Gradle, then this is also like very important. You can get the Gradle dependency from here. But for example, as of now, I am using Maven. So I will just go and copy this one. Maven dependency. I will come back here and I will just paste here. Just let me make it alone. So I have got log 4 the dependency. What is the purpose of this one? I will explain what happens when we add the dependency let me just go back and uh, for example just want some pdf for example i want to make use of itext code to generate pdf i'll just click here i'll pick the latest version and here is the dependency let's copy it I'll just go to my project, my pom.xml file, and I'm just gonna paste here. So, and okay, save. So this is how where you can find all your dependencies. For example, you can search here, uh, like you just type here Spring. So here, like Spring context dependency, just click here, select the version, and here you will see the Maven dependency. Right. So similarly, you can find for all Spring Context, Spring Core, Spring Beans, Spring Web, MVC, AOP, Test Framework and everything. There are so many. Just keep going next, next. For example, like JDBC here. And say you want to add JMS, Java Messaging Service Dependency here. So that too you can find here. Just click here. Or just click here Spring JMS. Just type here. Select the version you want and here is the dependency. Just copy and then just add in your. You copy from here, paste into your your project folder and then done. Now I have added the dependencies 
but if I go and see here under Maven dependency, I don't see log4j. Oh, it's just there actually. Log4j is already there. So I'll just it comes by default actually. For example, this one I text to generate the PDF. So hopefully, I don't see I text here. So what I will do is I'll just simply right click on my form.xml file here and then maven update project so when i click on update it will download all the required jars or supporting libraries which i mentioned in my pom.xml file let me just to go back and find out the pdf itex now you can see right itex.pdf is there now it wasn't here initially but now because when, after adding the dependency here and we updated the pom.xml file now i can see here let me show you one more time let me go with this jms Okay, maybe I'll copy it, just copy it. Sorry. Okay, just copy to clipboard. I'll just paste here. Just like that. Right. So this is the dependency to support Spring JMS. Okay. What is Spring framework? What is Spring? So if you see here, it's downloading the dependencies. Okay. See. Spring JMS dependency I can see here. Okay. For example, you want some other dependency, I'll just go here. I just want to show you something which is not there. Say you want JSON libraries. I don't let me see if I have JSON. No, I already have. Because this is Spring Boot, right? It automatically add also the all the required dependencies beforehand. But in case you want, you can go and add here. For example, let me go to Let me go here. Spring core context bean web. Let me see what, what do I have. I already have a Spring. Okay, friend. So basically, the point is, if you want any dependency for your project, what you can do is simply go to mavenrepository.com and search for your particular dependency, whatever you want. Okay. Once you go there, just click on that particular dependence, particular your jar or link. And then click on the version for which version you want and then you can copy the dependency from there so you can find maven dependence you can also find gradle dependency and there are four other like for sbt for ivy grab and for other okay so that is for this video friends the sole intention of this video is to explain how to or from where how to get the dependencies and how to update in the pom.xml file Okay, so thank you for watching.